When you have indexes that don't match or mixed indexes, it's important to make sure that you can make them match before you multiply them together. Let's use the example with rational exponents, the third root of a to the second b times the fourth root of a b squared. We can rewrite this with exponents instead of indexes, where one-third represents the index and a to the second b represents what's inside. We can also write one-fourth as the exponent instead of an index and a b squared represents what's inside. At this point, we need to find a common denominator. The common denominator between these two exponents would be 12. And so we'll build up this one by multiplying by 4 over 4, and this one by multiplying by 3 over 3. Once we've done that, we get a to the second b raised to the 4 twelfths times a b to the second raised to the 3 twelfths. From here we can distribute those exponents through and we get a to the 8 twelfths b to the 4 twelfths times a to the 3 twelfths b to the 6 twelfths. Notice at this point that all our denominators match. We have just created indexes that are the same. From here, we can add exponents when the bases match. a to the 8th over 12 and a to the 3 over 12 can be added together as a to the 11 twelfths b to the 4 twelfths times b to the 6 twelfths can be added exponent wise to get b to the 10 twelfths. From here we can rewrite it with the exponents numerators separate from the denominators. This will give us a to the 11th, b to the 10th, all raised to the 1 12th. You can always check if you've done this correctly by multiplying 1 12th back down to the exponents inside parentheses to see if you come out with where you were previously where you have 11 twelfths and 10 twelfths. Here are the rules. Get a common index by multiplying the index and exponents and here's something else to remember. You can always do this a much faster way we have the same situation as we just worked with, only this time, only this time we can do something new. We can build up our indexes where they are right now to get a common index. If we build up the first index by multiplying by 4 to get 12, we must also multiply our exponents by the same thing. Likewise with the index of 4, if we build it up to 12, we also have to build up the exponents inside the radical. When we do this, we get the 12th root of a to the 8th, b to the 4th, times the 12th root of a to the 3rd, b to the 6th. Since they have a common index, we can rewrite them all under one index, which is 12. And we get a to the 8th, b to the 4th, a to the 3rd, b to the 6th. 
This can be rewritten with adding the exponents together, and we'll get the twelfth root of a to the eleventh, b to the tenth. Much faster process. Here's a hint. Factor any numbers before you keep going, and always be sure your final answer is simplified. In example one, we have the fourth root of stuff inside multiplied to the sixth root of stuff inside. We need to get a common index. The common index between four and six would be twelve, so I'm going to multiply this index by three and this index by two. Whatever I do to the index, I must also do to the exponents. Now that I will have a matching index, I'll have a index of 12. Now that my indexes are going to match, I can put all my pieces that were under two radicals into one. I'm going to have m to the three times three, which is nine, n to the two times three, which is six, p to the one times three, which is three, all multiplied to what's in the other index, which now matches, and that is m to the one times two, which is two, n to the two times two, which is four, and p to the three times two, which is six. Now I can add exponents on the bases that match, and I get the twelfth root of m to the eleventh, n to the tenth, and p to the ninth. Building up example two, I need my indexes to match again. The common index is going to have to be fifteen, so I'm going to build this one up by five. Whatever I do to the index, I must also do to the exponents inside, and likewise with the five, I'm going to multiply it by three. So I'm also going to multiply my exponents by three. It's a good practice once you have a common index to rewrite everything inside. Four is the same as two to the second, and remember it's raised to the fifth, x to the tenth, y to the fifth, eight is the same as two to the third, all raised to the third, x to the four times three, which is twelve, y to the sixth. Simplifying this further, we get the fifteenth root of two to the tenth, x to the tenth, y to the fifth, two to the ninth, x to the twelfth, y to the sixth. From here we have the index of fifteen, Combining the twos, we get two to the nineteenth, x to the twenty-two, and y to the eleventh. From here, one, two will come out, and we'll have a remainder of two to the fourth, which is sixteen. One x will come out with a remainder of x to the seventh, and y will stay in. Can't forget that index, and that's your final answer.